Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Ford Lincoln in Lawrenceville, New Jersey. Check out this behemoth of a Bronco. We have a 2023 Ford Bronco Wild Track Sasquatch package in shadow black. So we're gonna check this thing out, see if this is the off-road SUV you should buy. So let's dig in front end of this shadow black bronco the first thing you see is the big white bronco lettering on the front grille looking good led headlights led daytime running lamps led fog lamps led turn signals we got the tow hooks right here tow people out love this front grille here around the bronco badge looking good and then underneath we got skid plates to protect the undercarriage of the vehicle on this behemoth of a Bronco. Let me know what you think about the front end in the comments. Moving up on top of the hood, I don't know if you can see it because of the glare, but there is a satin black decal that says Wild Track on the hood of this Bronco. Now it's going to protect you from that sun glare coming off the paint, which is a nice touch. Wheel and tire setup on this Wild Track Sasquatch. We have a 17 inch aluminum beadlock wheel gloss black bronco badge on the center cap these wheels are wrapped in goodyear territory all terrain tires 315 on the width a 70 series sidewall 17s all four corners four wheel drive all right full side profile on this bronco sasquatch wild track action Love the shadow black off that flat black. Looking really good, looking really ready for that off-road action. Let me know what you think about the shadow black. Is this just gonna be a disaster when you get off-road? Let me know what you think in the comments. Moving on in, we have the Wild Track call-out decal with Sasquatch right there. And there he is walking in the woods. Flat black on the side view mirror. And again, the side view mirror is attached to the front frame here of the vehicle because the doors can be removed. Flat black on the front and rear door handle, left side fuel filler. We have the hard top color matched and this hard top will come off. So obviously no moonroof or sunroof because we can take the whole top and we can take the doors off of this thing. Unreal. Back end of this Bronco Wild Track Sasquatch. The rear wiper is down below on the glass, there is no uh, roof spoiler coming off the top at all. We have a full-size spare attached to the back of that tailgate area. The Bucking Bronco on the right in black. LED taillights and turn signals out back as well. We have the tow hooks on the left side of the bumper area and the towing package, which we'll go over the towing numbers when we take a look at the engine. But overall, really look good, look good looking back in on this Bronco Wild Track. All right, we're under the hood of this 2023 Ford Bronco Wild Track with the Sasquatch action. What do we have for a power plant? Well, we have a 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 engine mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission. 315 horsepower, 410 pound feet of torque. The Bronco can tow up to 3,500 pounds. MPGs, 17 in the city, 17 on the highway, 17 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, so now you're saying to yourself, Mike, you keep saying Sasquatch package. What does the Sasquatch package do to a Bronco Wild Track? Well, it's going to add off-road capability. So you're going to get these 35-inch tires that you see here. You're going to get front and rear locking differentials, and you're going to get Bilstein shocks. As we move in closer again, you're also going to get these fender flares to cover up these ultra wide wheels. Because when you're on the road, you gotta have your wheels covered. So there you got the fender flares. You're also gonna get high clearance suspension in here, which is gonna give you a ground clearance of 11.5 inches on the four door Bronco Wild Track, which is a big number. All right, before we get into the interior of this Bronco Wild Track, you're gonna to wanna to know, Mike, how much is this gorgeous? Wild Track Sasquatch package 
vehicle cost? Well, it ain't cheap. Let's just put it that way because Wild Track, you're at the top. And then Sasquatch adds big dollars as well. So when we look at this Bronco with the Sasquatch package, base price 56370 before options. Then we got to add the hard top in the gray molded in color for $1,895. Then we got to add the tow capability for $595. Then we got to add in the, uh, uh, the uh, $2,195 for these leather two-tone seats. So then once you add that, in and then you have to add in your destination of delivery from Detroit, Michigan of $1,795. You got a total MSRP of $62,600. Let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, you got a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. We have all weather mats that are in the back right now. On the wild track, you get power seats with lumbar front for the driver and front passenger, and then you have this beautiful two-tone leather and vinyl seating with the blue stitching. We have this graphite gray color with stone, the bucking Bronco embossed into the back of each front seats, nice headrests, nice bolstering, really nice looking seats in this Bronco. And this was a special order Bronco that the customer wound up not taking delivery of. Door panel action, nice looking door panel. We have soft touch up top with the black and the stone color around the brushed aluminum door handle, some nice grab handles in aluminum on the side. And then we have a nice soft armrest. Instead of a door pocket, you have a door net as these doors are removable. And then up top, you have the stone up here in soft touch, this nice Bronco trim here. And then you have your heat and air vents on either side. And the reason why this one's recessed is because you got a grab handle over there is when you're going like a mad dog, you're going to be uh, needing to have your passenger hold on to something. That's for sure. And down below, nice large glove box. Up on top in the middle of the dash, I don't know if you can see, but you have your various different buttons to, to do your locking differential action, right? You can lock them, lock them up front and back. This one here, that button right there with this little arrow, that's trail turn assist control. And then we have our traction control off and our four-way hazards on the end. Now we have SYNC 4 8-inch integrated, two heat and air vents on either side. This is fine for me. I don't need the huge screen. Let me know what you guys think. But I like this screen and actually there's still plastic on it. Now we pull it off. Now it looks a lot nicer. Oh boy, turn that volume down so I don't get zapped. So now here it is, SYNC 4, 8 inch. We have built-in navigation. And look at that response, beautiful response from SYNC 4 on the nav. We have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Go to your audio, Sirius XM, Bluetooth your phone, play your music library right there. Apps, where you can go through your CarPlay, Android Auto your settings, or you can configure the vehicle however you would like. Go into vehicle settings, get all the actions set up exactly how you would like it, and then go into your features, go to your driver's assistance, your towing feature, or your online owner's manual. This is all over the air now. As you can see, we're talked into the Wi-Fi. So it's all over the air Wi-Fi hotspot, the whole nine yards in this system. We go to the backup camera, nice and clear with trajectory. But it is really, really a nice responsive system. And I like this size. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Down below, you have hard controls for your volume and your tuning for your radio. Dual climate action down here with three-stage heated seats for both the driver and the front passenger, which is a nice touch. Knock this on auto, get everything looking good. Down below here, you have a nice area for storage and you have a USB-C and a USB-A right there. Down on here, you have a little plate that tells you designed by Ford engineers in Dearborn, Michigan, USA, built at the Michigan Assembly Plant. That's a nice little plaque. Gives you something cute, you know, that kind of action. 
Here's the gear shift that's going to take you through this 10 speed auto. Love the Bronco on here. Here's our action right here for the GOAT modes. Go over all terrain is what GOAT stands for. Here's your two high, four high, four low, four automatic. They got you covered on all the modes here. Two cup holders. Here's your Ford key fob, lock, unlock, rem uh, remote start. And then you have your panic button and then the Bronco on the back looking good. And then, of course, we have our window controls on the center console area because you can't have them on the door. You can take the doors off and same with your mirror controls. So that's where all that action goes. Semi-soft armrest. And then we're going to open this up. Oop. And there we go in there looking good and 12 volt action. For Bronco steering wheel, nice leather wrap steering wheel with stitching, the bucking Bronco on the horn button, some nice brushed aluminum down here, lift up the wheel, flat black on the switch gear here. We have our cruise control over here on the left, and then you have your telephone voice commands, and then the controls to go through your digital dash right there, looking good. On your stocks here, we have our uh, windshield wipers over here on the left front and back, and then down below, you have your headlight controls and fog lamp controls, and then you have a brighten and dim the dash. Way down there, you have your electric emergency brake and the pop the hood. We have a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel, and then we have our digital dash, which is looking good. like the way it looks. We got the goat mode action going, so if we turn our goat mode dial, look at all these modes we got. So we have normal, we have eco, we have sport, we have slippery, we have mud ruts, we have sand, Baja. So they got you covered on all of these and the dash changes as you go through those and it automatically changes from two wheel to four wheel depending on what mode you're in so it's a nice easy way to do things i really like how they have that action done and then you can go in and you can change the view on how you want to uh, look at everything here on the dash so that's nice touch as well and when you set that now you got your fuel economy up so I think it's a really, really nice way to do it and a nice, easy to read dash. Let me know what you think. Up top, here's all the hardware, as you can see, to remove this roof. So it's not like you just take a little button and off it goes. You got to take this stuff out manually. And you got hooks all the way around the vehicle to take this roof off. But we do have some sound deadening material in here, which is nice. Up top, you got a bunch of aux switches that are all pre-wired. So if you want to like put a winch on or some kind of action like that, massive light bars, they got you covered with these extra switches. And then here we go with our overhead console right there on off, nicely done. So, and there is the SOS button in case you have the emergency. So they got you all set. And then our sun visor right here with vanity and lighting. And does it slide? Yes, it does. Block out that side sun. Terrific. Get in the back seat of this Bronco. I have the driver's seat set for my position. So we'll hop on in. No running boards on this wild track. Could use them maybe. Ah, here we are in the back. Nice and easy with this flat roof. Easy to get in. Plenty of knee space. Plenty of headroom at 5 foot 11, plenty of shoulder width room. Here's the seats, nicely done. No plastic on the back, which I like, and seat pockets behind each front seat. And then back here, we have a sign that says no step. So don't step on this when you're farting around with the roof. That's what they're trying to tell you. And then down here, you got your window controls for the back windows. And then USB action, A and C, and a home power source. So they got you covered back here. Back doors, same nice material, same nice vibe as the front. There's our front door panel looking good. Here's the back door panel looking good. Very nicely done. Back seats, same material, the leather and the vinyl with the headrests and the stitching. 
nice and comfortable, and then our armrest comes out, that's kind of skimpy. It's soft, but I got no room to put my arm on it over here. There's a little room over there. No room over here at all. And then two cup holders. That's totally weird. But in the back, we got some nice action going on, and it feels comfortable. And as a plus, we got American flags back here. Look at that action. And these are no charge. Opening up the rear tailgate area, let's come to the back here. Give it a pull, and up there she goes. Out she comes. All the way out. Look how far out this will go. That's massive right there for serious action. And then this glass goes up. So it's a tube thing. This swings out and this glass goes up. Now look at all this room with that big boxy shape. Massive room. Here's your front license plate bracket. I don't think I'd put one on. Here are the roof panel storage bags right here. That's nice. Here's the carpeted floor mats right here. That's nice. Nice floor. Tie downs. Beautiful. Up this up. Jack. More storage. So they got you covered there. So that's a nice touch. In the back, 12 volt right there for power. And you got your Bronco lighting right here. Looking good. And if you want to put these seats down, you just have to reach up and push them down. Reach up. Push them down. Now, I don't have the headrests down, so it kind of caught. So let me walk around. Push these headrests down first. My apologies for that. Go back around the other side. Lift the seat back up a bit. Just pop that headrest down. Now, there we go. Now we got action. Now look at that action. Now there's a bit of a kick up, but there's tons of room to haul a ton of stuff around. And if you don't need to haul anything, you can pop the roof off and the doors off and just go for a blast in the dunes. Love how they set this Bronco up. Love the market that they're going after. I think it's a great way to go. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, we're on the move in this 2023 Ford Bronco Wild Track with the Sasquatch package. And this thing is a total friggin' beast. Now, if you think this is gonna drive like a normal SUV, you're nuts. It's not. This is designed for massive off-road action, especially with this Sasquatch package on it. With the removable roof and doors, very little sound deadening. You hear a lot of road noise. You feel a lot of vibrations and feedback coming from these big, huge all-terrain tires. So it's not going to be like a regular ride down the road. If you want a regular ride down the road Bronco, go Outer Banks without the Sasquatch package and that'll give you a better road ride. But this one is designed for big time action off-road. No doubt about it. So now we're going to come down here, do a quick emergency stop in three, two, one. Nice and linear, no problems, and now we take off. EcoBoost V6 is going to move this vehicle down the road very easily. Now, this is not a corner carver by any stretch of the imagination. This has got huge off-road tires. It's going to want you to just go to the massive off-road action, Moab action, and just have a blast going through the big rocks. That's what this baby is all about. But the handling, pretty good. Direct. But certainly, you know, not heavy. It's nice and light. Suspension, just fine. You know, this off-road suspension, that's big ground clearance at 11 and a half inches. So this Bronco is going to give you plenty of that. The big tires with the sidewall protection are going to protect you from those sharp rocks so you don't blow one out when you're out on the rock crawling or whatever you may be doing. You got tons of goat modes. So you're all set no matter what kind of uh, 
action you're going to have going on on the roads, they got a mode for it and they got you covered. But boy, you speed up and you can feel that wind coming. But really nice power out of this, this EcoBoost V6. Really gets the car down the road. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's all the wind. I mean, you really hear it in this car. Imagine being up on the road at 80 miles an hour in this thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, I think it would be deafening. So that's why I'm saying if you want to go off road, then here you go. But if you don't, then the Outer Banks, which will probably be my trim because I don't normally go off roading, I'd stay on the road. And that's probably going to be my trim in this Bronco is that Outer Banks. But they give you so much versatility in here for what you need to do, whether it's camping, whether it's rock crawling, whether it's dune running. They got, they got it all covered in this Bronco Wild Track with the Sasquatch action. I love the name Sasquatch. You like your Bigfoot ripping through the woods in this thing. All black, stealth. Nobody can see you. All the Bigfoot hunters are out there looking for you, but they can't see you until crash, boom, brah, brah, crash, brah, and you let out that big yell and here you are. That's kind of what I feel like in this Bronco. So I think it's the perfect name for an off-road package. But I hope you liked my narration there and my Sasquatch roar, which was terrible. Really need to know how to do uh, you know, a, a Bigfoot call just to you know, round out my repertoire, I would say. But uh, nice stuff, good car. Bronco, love it. Love everything Ford did with it. Love the market that they went after, which was Jeep Wrangler all the way around. And I think they nailed it. And again, a really good offering here from the Bronco with the massive off-road Sasquatch package. Really like what they've done. Really like the quality that they've brought in this vehicle. And uh, let me know what you guys do. What would you guys do? Are you going to go? If you're going Bronco, let's do this. If you're going Bronco, where are you going? Are you going to go base? Are you going to go all the way up to Wild Track? Or are you going to go off-road with a Sasquatch? Are you going to go non-Sasquatch? Are you going to go with the elegant Outer Banks? Which is about as elegant a Bronco is going to get. Would you do this leather vinyl interior upgrade for 2200 Let me know. Or would you keep it plain and simple on the interior, knowing that you're going to go off-road and this thing is going to get dirty? Let me know what you think about that as well in the comments. Or are you going to go Jeep Wrangler or somewhere else with your off-road dollars? Let me know what you think. But I want to thank Sioka Ford Lincoln here in Lawrenceville, New Jersey, for allowing the channel access to this 2023 Ford Bronco Wild Track with the Sasquatch package. I want to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you. On the rebound, take care everyone.